Sí, 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 yo entiendo. So he went and got the bamboo from um, up near my gate. So it's permaculture, um, which is what I like to practice is using everything on the land. And sometimes using it more than once. So since we have a lot of bamboo, we use it for anything to build um, and any of the wood. Uh, that we can use to build. Okay. So I went to check on the sheep and they did go out, but it's raining. Not sure where they are today. I don't hear them. I put bells on them so I can hear them, but I don't hear them now. Oh, don't see them. But it's good to get them out to pasture because when I bought them um, about a year and a half ago, um, I bought them from a farmer um, in a place called Sarapunta, which is uh, about an hour and a half from where I am. And um, he had, he didn't have any pasture. So he was feeding them molasses all day. So uh, he was he was saying how um, he wanted to get another type of animal because he couldn't afford to, uh, you know, buy the sheep food. Where, since I have the land and, oh, there they are. Woo <laughs> sheep, 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 sheep. I see them. Oh, they're behind the tree. I'm not sure if I can get them in my... Um, but as I was saying, um, since I have the pasture and, uh, it was really important for me to get animals that I can use on the farm, um, and, and they get their grass, um, to, and all their nutrients as well as, um, for me to keep my pasture low. Uh, so we moved them throughout the farm and, uh, um, and also, I wanted uh, an animal that could help fertilize my teak trees more. Um, and I understand that uh, the sheep sheep manure is great fertilizer, and I have seen that. Um, so that was another reason. <clears throat> Ooh, nice lemon tree. These are, I think they're sweet lemons. Yeah, sweet lemons. Mm. Didn't even know you were here, buddy. Mm. That's the greatest part about exploring and living on a farm is that you just see so many new things in nature, like all the time. Like every day is different. You think you've seen, you know, a certain bird or a certain reptile or a certain tree or plant and then you're like oh my gosh <laughs> this is something totally new so that's what I love about living here and even coming out here in the in the rain uh, it's rainy season now and uh, it usually rains just in the afternoon 
but I guess because of some of these hurricanes that have passed and other areas, we don't get hurricanes here, but you know, when you hear other places get hurricanes, we usually just get a little bit more rain than normal. Usually it rains only in the afternoon for a couple of hours, maybe from two to four. Oh, let's go check Samuel, because he's uh, finishing cutting the bamboo. And I hear the chainsaw. I just got the chainsaw serviced. I've had it for a while and there's a guy in town that fixes all like like uh, machinery, electronics. There he goes. But now I realize how important it is to keep your tools clean, serviced, and take good care of them. So here's my bamboo. Las ovejas come eso? Mm. So I just asked them if the sheep will eat all this. 